most of you won't be able to do that. In fact, I would damn guarantee I'm stronger than you. I'm probably in better shape than you. I would actually recommend most of you people start. You people? What the f***? Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization, the creator of the RPI Hypertrophy app and a professor of sport and exercise science at Lehman College in the Bronx, in New York City, in Manhattan, in the world. And guess who else lives in that world? Mr. Andrew Tate, successful professional kickboxer, successful semi-professional person who I think sells sex workers or something like that. I'm not sure on the controversy but I do know he's in the manosphere and I also sometimes identify as male. Let's review his workouts and see if his advice is up to muster. Go on. Seven days a week, no rest days. Seven days a week, no rest days. It's actually a bad idea. Your body needs rest and recovery. It's when it actually does most of its growth. I would recommend that the most advanced folks that are seeking the highest levels of adaptation to their physiques and muscularity train at most. Uh, six days a week, but uh, most folks would get the best results training uh, somewhere between four and five days a week. So seven days a week is uh, generally a bad idea. He's got uh, a lot of exercise equipment at his home, so I guess house dress is easy when you're frivolously wealthy. The chest press is a little, the reps are a little too quick for my tastes and probably not very close to failure. And I just moving the weight around. Uh, the range of motion isn't amazing, but because it's hitting that bottom stretch position, I don't have a ton of hate for it. Uh, seems just fine. And it says machine press a thousand reps. Seriously? Wait, hold on. I'm under to go. Oh yeah, okay. So he's doing a ton of repetitions with incredibly light weights, which if you can do a thousand reps of something in some workout, it's probably either catastrophically overdoing it and is gonna cause more damage than growth, forcing you to spend most of the next several, well, several days or a week or more recovering instead of growing and adapting, or it is so profoundly easy because the weight is so profoundly light and you're so far from feeling any one set that it ends up being a very poor use of time to not get you the best results possible. <laughs> Set with 100. There's 600 total or 700 total. I don't know. Which means I have to say 600 because I have to make it harder for myself to punish myself for not remembering. I'm actually 85% short. 800. Okay, so he's punishing himself for not remembering. That's not really good for sports science. Maybe with the RPI hypertrophy app, he could accurately log all of his uh, inputs and not have to ask himself this question. It looks like he's using a full size laptop, which is generally how I like to work out, with a refrigerator sized computer next to me at all times. Well, not 100% sure, but 600, 400 more. If I had it, leather or... 100 more. The, there's a term for this in the hypertrophy training literature, and it's called junk volume. It's doing lots of reps, but each rep is so profoundly easy, and you never really get very close to failure. So none of the parts of your muscle that really grow the most, the fast twitch motor units they're called, they never really activate much. And so you spend a lot of time doing this, you accumulate plenty of fatigue, or in his case, not even that many because it's so easy, but you don't get a huge stimulus. If he did 30 total repetitions, but each one of them was very, very heavy and very hard and was done in a very controlled cadence with a deep stretch, he could get all of the benefits and more of his workout without spending, I don't know how long doing this. It takes a long time to do a thousand reps. Single day of training. Tate's prison beast mode. Oh my God. It's everything I ever wanted out of a workout. In that jail cell, I had no access to a gym. I had no access to any kind of workout equipment. It was just me in a jail cell with you, with bottles of water, holding them out as long as I could hold them out for. And then I dropped to the ground, endless push ups. We had the time. Every single day we trained, we woke up disappointed, we swallowed the disappointment, and we got the training. I mean, this is very good psychology. Uh, the thousand trillion push ups and the milk bottles or whatever, that's. Just don't go to jail and you won't have to do that kind of stuff. Every single day. What is your excuse? Uh, what is your excuse stuff? Look, uh, training every single day is not a good idea. Again, six days a week, four days, five days is better, but uh, sure makes for good memes. And what else is Andrew Tate other than a good meme? I don't know. Welcome to the Tate Fitness Course. There's a Tate Fitness Course. F***ing unbelievable. Now this fitness course has a very unique angle to it. And the angle to this course is staying in shape, having a good physique, growing your strength in as little time as possible. Sounds really good. This is not going to be one of those courses that talks about diff this muscle, that muscle, eat this, eat that. Okay, so nothing with actual content or information, just hardcore stuff. This tendon, this joint, 
It's like, I don't know any of that stuff. I don't actually know things. I just want results. I'm uninterested in all of that shit. Even when I was a professional fighter, I was completely uninterested in all of those things. Almost all professional fighters are, I can assure you. Even as a world champion, I was uninterested. I believed in hard work and dedication. I don't understand how hard work and dedication are uh, antithetical to knowing what you're doing, but uh, I suppose if your mental bandwidth is small enough, it's one or the other. To not believe in this muscle, that muscle, that it does. So if you're looking for a fitness course, it's gonna sit there and talk about a whole bunch of science. Science. And garbage. Garbage. Yeah. Then go buy another one. F another one. No, wait, wait. Go buy another one. Hey guys, if you really like that, what you might really like extra is our extended edition of this video and well, actually a lot of our videos occur in our member section. Hit that join button and you will be whisked away into a portal of magic. And by magic, I mean extended video editions of what you just saw. This is my fitness routine I use to stay in shape. And the reason we're in my bedroom. My bedroom. His bedroom looks nice. You could uh, take away the civil rights of at least 20 15 year old Romanian sex workers there, I imagine. Time to get canceled. If you want to go to the gym and train for three or four hours a day, that's fine. <laughs> Idiot. But I know a whole bunch of people who dedicate their personality to being a gym rat and having a good physique. But they don't have anything else. Okay. Apparently the other hours of the day, the three or four hours of the day is all of them and they don't have anything else. They just sit around and play video games the rest of the time, fine. What do you do with the rest of your time, Mr. Andrew Tate and friends of yours? Okay, yeah, you're in shape, so? Nobody cares, right? Unless you're making money, I don't see the point in dedicating that much time to it. It's a fair play. You gotta know what you're getting out of the gym and you can actually get a great physique if you have a minimal list of, you know, intelligent pieces of equipment that you're using in an intelligent way. Let's find out if intelligence applies here. Well, you need our two mats. Two mats? I bet you don't even need those, but we'll get to that in a second. You need a bar, which you can pick up for 10 bucks, and you don't even need a lot of weight. I'm a strong guy. Really? In fact, I would damn guarantee I'm stronger than you. Unlikely. And I use 30 kilos of weight. Okay. Dope. Mats. The mats are not for you. The mats are for your floors. Because I don't know if your floors are going to buy mine, but expensive. Yeah, the target demographic that buys these things probably does not have expensive floors. But it's nice that he is expecting them to get richer over time while still adhering to his workout routine because they have all the time in the world to get rich and import people against their will from various countries, forcing them to have sex, or whatever else you do for money. It's none of my business. Uh, or, you know, um, do other kind of uh, entrepreneurial activities. Then you get the bar. Now, this is gonna look easy. Maybe because it is. I'm kidding, I don't even know what it is yet. But I promise you it's not. Promise received. So I, I would actually recommend most of you people start. You people? What the f With 20 kilos. This is 30 kilos. The reason we do, do these two particular exercises is, I'm about to put a graphic in for you because I'm a f professional. Whoa, those are such cool graphics. I like that he didn't, I don't really like science and shit, but like he's got science graphics. Hmm. Every muscle group in the body, your legs, your abs, your shoulders, your chest, your arms, everything's gonna be done with these two exercises. Really? So you start here, burpee, back, lift it up, over your head. Camera guy, what are you doing? That's one. We're gonna do 25 of them. Okay, so a burpee supersetted to a not athletic, clean and press. Does work a lot of the muscles of your body. Well, it's probably mostly cardio workout and doesn't really get you very jacked or very strong. If you're very out of shape and you wanna become sort of skinny and have some muscle like Andrew Tate, then that's a fine thing to do. That's 25. So you can tell I'm out of breath. I'm probably in better shape than you. Probably better shape than you. I love the advertising, it's just uh, quite direct. You suck. But you could be like me if you did this. In fact, if you do it with 30 kilos, most of you won't be able to do that. So you need to start with 10 kilos, maybe even 20 kilos. I like the progressive element, that respect. Then 25 jumps. The aim of these jumps, they don't look pretty. See so your knees up high, so. Okay, there are way more efficient ways of training whatever the f the jumps train than doing the jumps and way less taxing on your joints and connective tissues. So 
almost anything else. When I do that, I'm gonna try to keep my hands up. That's just uh. Let me guess, from your kickboxing days, just good old muscle memory. Old fighting habit. Wow, how'd I know that? This is great for his demographic because everyone in his demographic thinks they fight even though they don't. So like, yeah man, I always keep my hands up brother. Just because you know, like I've seen a couple of Andrew Tate videos. I'm kind of like a K1 fighter. Yeah, yeah. Now if you're sitting here going, well, why burpees, Tate? Which muscle does my Ducimus Maximus meet my f***ing... Shut up. None of that shit matters. Damn. You're not f***ing bodybuilders. You're not science geeks. You're trying to have a good physique. Good physique means you're building the body in a specific way, which means you're a bodybuilder now. And if you want to have the best physique, then you want to know what you're actually training, which means you're a science geek. It turns out if you want a certain appearance, you are actually encouraged to think about it a little bit. And you're trying to get paid. I don't know what this has to do with making money. By the way, for the record, almost everyone who does this will not have a good physique. Andrew Tate did not get a good physique doing this. He got it training for years and years and years in combat sport and having generally good genetics, uh, comparable calorie intake to his expenditure and uh, moves around a lot. That's it. In my personal experience, girls don't find that whole bodybuilder shit attractive. True. They find money attractive and they also find the potential that you will sell them down the river and they'll never have homes again attractive. Too much? Too much. I'll back off. Let me tell you guys about the RP Hypertrophy app. With over 28 preset programs already in the app, you can choose to make your own, you can modify an existing program, or you can just run the programs exactly as they were written by me personally. This app programs everything for you. Exercises, weights, sets, reps, frequency, the whole thing. After every single workout on every single week, the app adjusts to your unique parameters with every single input. We have over 250 exercises in the app with detailed video tutorial links to every single one. You never have to be confused about technique or form ever again. I'm guessing right now you're pretty interested in the app? Download the RP Hypertrophy app today. These dudes who do that bodybuilding shit. It's gay. Gay. <laughs> Very uh, good way to make a critique that has no substance at all. Let's just call it a name. My man. No f***ing around changing weights. Changing weights. That's for science geeks. So what we're basically looking to do is three exercises in one set. I like that his facial expression during this video is like he was woken up at three in the morning and told to film this impromptu. He's like this. Go on my f***ing face, bruv. Well, I know you, son. All right. So, ten. Oh, that's the worst technique I've ever seen. God damn, I wasn't ready for that shit. Don't, folks, don't hide in your upright rows. Open up into them. Get your elbows up and out. That will train your shoulders like it's supposed to. It looks like he's dying in there. Am I allowed to make these jokes? Like a Jewish workout. You just like recoil at the bill. Hey, it's $100 for breakfast. Hey, the stock portfolio came back and you had uh, less return than you want. Hey, all day. I'm here all day. Terrible, awful, and he's using his legs too. I don't know why, he's trying to make it easier for his shoulders. Maybe he doesn't want jack shoulders, I don't know. If I saw him doing this at the gym and you pointed him out and I didn't know who he was and you were like, does that person know what he's doing? I would say, no, no, he does not. Straight away, change your grip. Straight away, mate, don't f***ing wait for it. Just moving stuff around. I would make a critique, but that would be filed under science and nerd and gay. Oh shit, that was so f***ing athletic. You guys ever seen some shit like that? That's world championship. I throw it up to change my grip. If you're not comfortable with that, you can hold it and change it slowly. My hands are now reversed. Guess what the advantages of reversing your hands? You get to lift in a slightly less comfortable position, accomplishing nothing on net balance. Now I've got to change the grip back to the original grip. Duh. So once again, I throw it. Oh, I've seen more athletic catches in my life. And back again. Between those three exercises, that is all I use to stay in pristine physical condition. Yeah, I don't think he looks exactly like he's in pristine physical condition. He's like a guy that like is tall and skinny and just like smokes a lot of cigarettes and drinks and sometimes hits the gym and you're like, yeah, Frank, he exists. Andrew Tate is probably great for hustler advice, how to pick out cigars, and advice on 
how to take people who previously had genuine life trajectories and hopes and dreams for themselves and imprison them against their will and use them for sex. Other than that, uh, I wouldn't go to him for workout advice because while it's not terribly wrong, you can do better almost anywhere. Anyway, Mr. Andrew Shade, if you see me in real life, please don't beat me up, but um, four out of 10, four out of 10, four out of 10. That's it. Don't cancel us. See you guys next time.